Okay, let's do a walkthrough video at Hyatt Ziva Cancun. We're in room 2435 in the Pyramid Building. Um, pyramid Building is sort of the entry level category, but very nice as it is. Um, just beautiful views everywhere in this place. Uh, stunning is the word that just keeps coming to mind. The numbering was kind of confusing at first. Uh, I don't know if that means building two, but we're actually on the fourth floor, not the second floor. And then we're the 35th room on the fourth floor. So it doesn't take long to get used to. These uh, uh, key cards they use here, uh, no wristbands at all, which is unique. We've never, we've never seen that before. Um, what can I tell you about the room? So double sink, super nice. One thing that really stood out about these rooms is how much uh, storage sort of areas under the sink. There was a place to put our uh, toiletries and our bag of, you know, our portable drugstore that we bring with us and stuff like that. No bathtubs in the rooms, just showers. Might be an issue if you have uh, little kids, but otherwise no big deal. Um, pretty standard stuff, just like every other room walkthrough video will tell you there is a iron there is an ironing board the, they happen to have a scale which is nice if you have to either um, weigh your suitcases heading to the airport if you're not sure if you bought too many souvenirs uh, they had robes I don't think they had slippers in these rooms and I kind of missed it because we found the room kind of cool uh, you know obviously you have temperature controls but Safe, pretty standard, uh, just like all of them, punch in the four digit code and hit lock and then same four digit code and it opens, but it worked really slick. Uh, again, lots and lots of storage spots. Um, little bench to put your suitcase. You could put your suitcase on top there. We had two, uh, I think they were double beds. Worked really well. Also don't know if you can make it out. Lots of uh, plugins. You didn't even have to bring a, a charging brick for your devices. They could plug right into the wall. Um, clock. We had a clock next door that went off at six in the morning and alarm went off for 10 uh, minutes. Only a couple times. It didn't do it every day so I'm not sure what that was about. It might legitimately have been somebody waking up at six in the morning to go for a run on the beach or something. Um, rooms, for, other than that, the rooms are pretty soundproof uh, which was nice. Big screen TV, I, if we turned it on twice all week, uh, that's probably one too many. Um, coffee maker in the room, we would usually just walk down and get coffee at the coffee shop. Pretty standard, bar fridge. Ours is picked over right now because we're leaving today. So we cleared out a bunch of stuff uh, and it hasn't been refreshed for the next people yet. Um, we're on the I guess the tip of the peninsula, uh, so the third side. Uh, one of the biggest, biggest strengths of this hotel by far is that it being on the peninsula of Cancun, which if you think of it like the shape of a number seven, right at the tip where the two number two lines intersect, that's where Can or that's where the Hyatt Ziva is. Uh, so on the call it the north side, uh, you have a beach. On the south side, you have a beach, and then on this side, you don't have a swimming beach, but you have a beautiful uh, view of waves crashing into the rocks below and the ocean stretching to the horizon so um, I keep thinking about like review sites for restaurants and movies and how sometimes when you go to see the top rated restaurant and you're surprised that it's a two-star you know taco joint in your hometown is the place that people love the most and you think how is that and I keep thinking how that's about your expectations and one of the things that occurred to me in Hyatt Ziva is because the reviews were so good, because it was rated as, I think, number six or seven on TripAdvisor of all hotels in Cancun, it is, um, your expectations are so high that any little thing kind of takes it down a notch compared to, you know, if you book a mid-level place and it meets your expectations, oh, this wasn't quite good enough, but yeah, it's mid-level, you get what you're paying for. So little things, you know, we only had two chairs on the balcony and we've stayed at resorts where you've had four chairs, right? Not the 
and we did have a chair in the room that we could pull out so we had three but we were a family of four so if we wanted to sit out in the evening that meant either my daughter was sitting on my knee or um, sitting on the ground or staying in the room on her device which isn't where we come for so little things like that um, you know again when your expectations are so high little things like that maybe stand out more than they would at a different resort but but that's that's quibbling uh, we've been to probably close to double digit resorts over the years now uh, we've stayed low end to high end uh, we've stayed Mexico Cuba Dominica, Dominican Republic I would say this is uh, the nicest resort we've ever stayed at uh, there's other you know again the expectation thing we also paid probably 25 to 30 percent more than we've ever paid for a week at a resort so again I would expect it to be the best resort we've ever stayed at so that it doesn't surprise me that it's the nicest one we've ever stayed at it surprises me that it wasn't such a clear winner uh, you know overall it's obviously the best we've stayed at but um, but there's resorts where we've had a bit a bigger better kids club at Moon Palace or a better a la carte experience you know so again that's, that's all minor quibbly stuff in comparison and it really depends what you want by far one of the best beaches we've ever had by far some of the highest levels of service uh, great location um, yeah all of that stuff's really good so I won't drone on and on and on uh, one thing I always forget to see in these videos I actually have my own blog headtail.com h-e-a-d-t-a-l-e.com it's my own personal blog it's not a commercial blog I don't have any ads on it but I do write a lot on there about all kinds of things, but I do write about all-inclusives, uh, lists of 10 things I like in all-inclusives, and 10 great uh, ways to improve all-inclusives, and reviews of the sites I've been to. I'm sure I'll put up a site, a, a written review, with photos of um, Hyatt Ziva fairly soon. And uh, so I would encourage you, if you want, to go and check it out there, uh, headtail.com, and... Uh, Hope you enjoyed this uh, review. Goodbye, Mexico.